Making sure to say this from the very start, but this video obviously contains spoilers for the entirety of the Side Order DLC, and I mean everything. So save this video for later if you need to. Anyway, Splatoon 3 Side Order DLC has been out for a couple weeks now, and it's definitely a very fun experience to play, superpowering your character with all sorts of perks. But in the midst of all this, there are probably some easter eggs you missed throughout your playthrough. So here are 24 of these easter eggs I'm going to show you in this video. Enjoy! We can see that Marina's diary on her laptop resembles the user interface of Instagram Stories and other similar apps, and the operating system in the background resembles the interface of Windows 11 as well. The song that plays in the cutscene after freeing Marina, Origin of Order, uses an interpolation of Off the Hook's acid hues. Take a listen. After finishing a run through the spire and reaching the stat screen, you can actually rotate your character with the right joystick. After beating the spire for the first time, the lights in the spire plaza change to be reactive to the music playing. In the elevator, Marina mentions how each weapon palette represents the said character's favorite weapon. Pearl has good taste. The Pearl Drone's step off song attack uses the music from the intro to off the hook's newscasting. Take a listen. There are two boxes in the Spire Plaza next to the elevator entrance, which allow you to replay the various one-time boss fights and cutscenes. When playing the Overlord or boss fight for the first time, or through the box, after collecting all the color chips and shuffling through them by pressing each one in a specific order, you can play the melody to off the hook's ebb and flow. Take a listen. Again in the dialogue for the Overlord or boss fight, as Marina is pleading with Order about how change can be positive, she states how when colors clash and mix, they can sometimes create beautiful rainbows, which actually references her Splatoon 2 Final Fest dialogue, where she speaks about how Pearl told her how ink colors aren't special on their own, but become special when mixing them together to create new colors. Gelatins, the enemy species of Side Order, is a play on words for gelatin, which is a food ingredient formed from the collagen of animal parts, which is used to make jello, which bears a similar opaque look and jiggly texture as the gelatin enemies. Another genius Splatoon pun here. Every gelatin enemy's name also adopts suffixes that can be found in many Latin languages like Spanish and Italian, such as the marching andente, which uses the ante suffix, which is a common suffix in these languages. Maybe people who specialize in these languages can develop some meaning to this. On the robot Inkling boss fight, the Inkling you fight is actually a replica of your Splatoon 2 Agent 4 by using the data from your Splatoon 2 save to apply the same hairstyle. This piece of dialogue between Marina and Ott, where they mention a weird old man, is actually a reference to DJ Octavio, being the leader of the Octarians and having green wasabi sticks as Marina mentions. The outfit Pearl is wearing in Marina's laptop wallpaper is actually the same outfit as seen in Off the Hook's concept photos in one of the official Splatoon art books. The outfit Marina wears in her side order boss fight is the same outfit she is seen wearing during the Splatoon 2 Final Fest. In the Spire Plaza, there's a secret area you can access by riding the grind rail and gliding to the corner pillars where you can find a platform with a corner pillar containing some character icons such as Callie and Marie, an enemy Octoling, an enemy Octarian, a Splattershot, Pearl and Marina, and other random little icons I can't distinguish. When spinning your character in the Order Sector Square, the Pearl Drone eventually starts to propel itself up with this cute animation. In the Hotlanta shop, there is a game which depicts a giant octopus which resembles the Overlord or Final Boss. Could this have been foreshadowing? If you pay close attention to Marina's laptop, you can see stickers of both Off the Hook's logo and the Squid Sisters. When reaching a vending machine floor and purchasing items from the machine, Pearl has a chance to say the dialogue, where have I seen that vending machine before? Which refers to the fact that there was a similar vending machine in Octo Expansion, which also offered items in exchange for coins. If you max out all your color chips before reaching the final floor of the spire, the remaining floors will actually give you a few pearls based on its difficulty. When you reach the last 10 floors from the top of the spire, the lighting changes to be more purple and dark. 
Lastly, Marina really, really loves Pearl. 